Hi, welcome back to Brentech IT Tech Support. I'm Dave and today we're going to be looking at the unboxing and setup of the locked power kit. Now we've already done the setup of the locked smart lock which is a lovely bit of kit. Now this is a sponsored video, we have been given the lock and the power kit. Uh, but we haven't been paid, we've just been given these, these items for review and the unboxing videos. We've certainly found the lock, lock to be brilliant. Now the batteries, it does come with batteries, it comes with eight AA alkaline batteries and they should last between six months to a year. Um, but if you want to have it so that you can charge batteries, um, you can get the accessory kit which comes with another eight batteries. These are nickel metal hydride batteries and the charger as well. Well, we'll have a quick unboxing of this. So you just open it up and you've got your charger and your eight alkaline, eight nickel metal hard drive batteries. Now at the moment in the UK, it's only coming with a European power adapter, but they are providing the continental to UK power adapter with it as well. And if you're quick on Amazon and buy these as they are just coming out, for new release, if you buy the lock quick enough, you'll get a 10% discount and a free power kit simply because the bridge also has the continental power supply. But again, that is coming out soon, all UK made. So get in quick and get the discounts and deals because it will be worth it. And so all that we need to do is pop over to the lock, open it up, take the old batteries out, put the new batteries in, and then we can give it a good charge. And being that it lasts for six months to a year on the batteries, you'll only have to ever charge it up once or twice a year, which will be really, really great, really convenient. Now, even if your door's in an awkward situation and you've got to go and get an extension lead and have the cable down there, that's not an issue if it's only just overnight for twice a year. Oh, um, I'll let you know how long the cable is. The cable that it comes with is actually three meters. That's actually quite a good length. But again, because it's to your front door, you might not have a plug that close. So you can just use an extension lead. It's only gonna be charged overnight. So that will be very convenient. Well, we'll get on and install the batteries and uh, show the charging process. To remove the battery pack, what we need to do is first of all, open the door and get to our screw here, take the handle off. So we just need to open the door. Just quickly remove the little grub screw, take the handle off, pop the front cover off, keep a note on the washer so you don't lose that. And now you can just pull out all the old batteries, get your new rechargeable batteries that came with your power kit. Open them up and put them all in. Make sure you do get them the right way around. Once you've done that, you can put your front panel back on. and your washer. And the handle again. And reinsert your grub screw. That's it, all nice and simple. Now we just need to plug it in and charge it up. So open up the provided cable tidy, which is really nice that they do that. You know, it's a three mid cable, so it's nice and long. But if your cable isn't long enough and you haven't got a plug close by, you can just use an extension lead. And as you only need to charge it up once or twice a year, that is going to not be an issue at all. Now, before we plug this in, we'll sort out the app. So you get your app, come to My Lock, then scroll down, and it's battery and charging. Now, we used to have the alkaline not rechargeable. We've now got the nickel metal hydride batteries in there. So we will select that option. And it's now set, and it now says start charging. So we'll plug that in and start charging it. Yeah, so it's only four hours, so that is not an issue at all. 
So we can see it's got a white light on there. And then we plugged it in. It just flashed quickly indicating that it was going to charge. And that's all there is to it. And if you come back, you can see the battery level and it's at 33%. So we'll just leave that charging. Well, that's it for now. That was really simple and easy to install, as you could see. And uh, that will be lasting now for six to 12 months. Really easy. Great that they do that. Um, with our old Yale Connexus lock, every so often I had to set, undo the screw, take the four batteries out, charge them up, put new batteries in, or have four batteries on hand. Um, but also, if the batteries do die, there's two little metal prongs on the touch to sense bit, which is just down there. And you can push a nine volt battery to that on the outside. So if the door batteries do die when you're outside, just get a nine volt battery, hold it to that, and that'll activate the lock and open it quickly for you. Well, that's it for now. I do hope you enjoyed watching. If so, do give it a thumbs up, a like, a comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon. Also, you can follow us on our Twitters and Instagrams and social medias down the side there. Also, you can do a super thanks or PayPal or Patron down below, all of which are greatly appreciated. And hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.